<laughs> the thing sucks, you know, but f it, we'll do it live. <laughs> Why not? And thing sucks. Hey, come on, man, calm down. Hi, hi. Well, guys. Well, guys, Robbie Bree, Robbie Bree, Lana Del Rey, praise God to all of you. God bless you. It's Monday, no problem. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, what we like to do sometimes is tech. What, what is it? Sometimes we like to check in on technology. What's going on in the world of tech? What's going on in the world of tech? That's right, it's time for a tech check. Do we have a graphic for that? Okay, we don't have a graphic prepared. You were supposed to prepare a graphic for that. And three, two, one, on screen meltdown. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, man, enough with the AI songs. Mean a right, actual jokes, I said. Mean a right, actual jokes. Techie check, let's go. Mm. Are we back? Are we back from the graphic? No tech check is complete without an update on what's going on with what the hell is the goddamn app called? TikTok. You know, I still don't know what the hell this thing is. I've asked many young people, you know, what the hell is this thing? Is it a porno? What? Still haven't got a straight answer on that one. Tiki! Tiki Talk, what is it? Is that a porno or something? Get those damn kids off that Tiki 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 Tiki! Hey! There's a <laughs> clip going around related to the Tiki Tick Tock ban. Uh, let's roll that. But why is this happening? Right. Well, let's look at where young people are getting their news. No problem. Nearly a third of eight adults, 18 to 29. Mm, adult These baby. young people in the US are regularly getting their news exclusively from Tik Tok. Never heard of it. Pro-Palestinian and Hamas, uh, pro-Hamas hashtags are generating 50 times the views on Tik Tok right now. The Chinese Communist Party is doing this on purpose. Never heard of them. They are pushing this racist agenda with the intention of undermining our democratic values. No son of a bitch. And if you look... Okay, so what the hell is this guy's name? No, come on. Senator Pete Ricketts. <laughs> Senator Pete... Toilets. <laughs> come on. Okay, nothing to see here. You know, there's an app, you know, where there's uh, some political speech we don't like. So we're going to ban it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. You know, so I see something a bit weird like this. Weird. Like this. I need a newsman. I need a newsman. Sometimes I call them newsies. I need a newsie to put this in perspective in the, for me. We have this tweet from Michael Tracy. Definitely never heard of him. He says, Senator Pete Ricketts, Republican from Nebraska, <laughs> comes right out and admits it. They're about to ban TikTok because, quote, young people are getting their news from the app and pro-Palestinian hashtags generate lots of views. Oh. He says Chinese communists are pushing this racist agenda to undermine America. That's now before, true. let me play the clip now of Senator Pete Ricketts. <laughs> Ricketts, okay. Do we have the audio? It's not playing. No, okay. Uh, it's just dying. It just crashed? Yeah, it's... I don't know, it just stopped working. Let's, Let's get that working. I go will fix it. Go ahead. I think if I do that, it'll work. Let's go see ahead. if that works. Hold on, let me check the audio real quick. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Oh, man, our audio's really... Twitching and twisting. Okay, so this is going to be an easy one for our newsmen here. You know, you know, generally, you shouldn't try to ban news sources because they're saying things. They're saying information that you don't like. This is why I think there's a huge problem with TikTok. Oh, thank God. Not that I think the current administration would do anything positive with it. It's better that it's in the hands of the U.S. than China, despite okay. the fact that U.S., uh, like the Biden administration, is bad and woke. But you look at the stuff that it's promoting, and right. it's chaotic uh, cultural destruction. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, you know, <laughs> there was totally a story right. I covered. Wait, hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, sounds like you agree with that guy, that Ricketts guy. Ricketts. Can you please clarify what you just said with a story, please? There was a story I covered the other day about a, a mother who lets her kids eat dessert whenever they want. Like, they can have whatever food they want. Let's hear and, more about uh, it. The headline was, her husband left her after he caught their daughter eating a stick of butter. <laughs> when he complained about it, the mother was like... That daughter was going like this. Okay, go ahead. The headline was, her husband left her after he caught their daughter eating a stick of butter. Where'd you read that? When he complained wow. about it, okay. the mother was like, kids can eat whatever they want, fat is healthy, all of that stuff. Right. Yet these things are massive net detriments to this country. If we yes, were focusing butter. on, uh, say, like a nation, a national fitness challenge, <laughs> these would be good things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love this. This is why this is my favorite source of news. What's the channel called? Timothy Cast. You know, because they bring up this clip from a news source they like, Michael Tracy. This guy's like, this is weird. You're banning a news source 
because there's information you don't like on there. That's That doesn't seem right. You know, and then these guys kind of set it up like that. Look at this. Look at this clip. Oh, we like that. We actually like that. Well, actually, I like that this guy even takes it a step further. He's like, you know what? Maybe we need total government control over information sources like apps and all this crap, you know, to put, to put information that we like. Because otherwise, people might just go and eat a whole stick of butter. So we can't have we can't have these apps just saying whatever we want anymore. But you get apps like TikTok. And yes, this is, you do. It's not so true with, it's, with Instagram. Instagram has its problems, too. Uh, right. But TikTok seems to be really, really bad oh. in spreading... These stuff you don't like. Well, I don't know what the right word is because I want to say degenerate, but that's not the right way to put it. Destructive <laughs> right. yeah. ideas. Exactly. Like, I, yeah. Well, go I, go I ahead. Think that's what Let happened that guy with Hunter talk. Biden. Okay, come on, goddamn you! In this 15-minute video, it, sorry, 15-minute and then five-second video, there's got to be a section where they say, "Hey, you know what? That clip we just played, where that guy's saying we got to ban an information source. The government has to ban an information source because there's information we don't like on there." There's got to be a part in this where they say that's not so great, right? The the only people Biden or his ilk who uh, are ever going to go after right. are people who love this country, exactly. basically. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. I mean, okay. they only hate patriots. Yeah, literally. So, is anybody going to do anything about this? Because right. to all of us who are professionals, this looks like a network. Absolutely. This isn't just students organizing. This isn't just TikTok being. This is someone's work. This is a campaign. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, hell yeah, awesome. So, I was not expecting that. You know, you play a clip like that, I thought it was going to be, oh, you can't just ban information sources you don't like. That's what I thought it was going to be. It's, yes, we should ban that source of information, because that's bad. That's undermining everything. Also, arrest the protesters we don't like. The FBI should get, they should get their asses. Wet. Got your ass! Wet. Got your ass! Woo! Okay. I also like that that guy's like, they're only going to go after people like us. People who love, what, patriot, patriotism? Patriot. Patriosity. The, the only people Biden or his ilk who? are ever going to go after Never are people who love this country, basically. Right. That's it. Exactly. I mean, they only hate people. Yeah, I like this because uh, who do these guys think signed the thing to ban TikTok? <laughs> Which is funny because the Biden uh, whatever campaign is still posting on TikTok. <laughs> Here, they posted a TikTok today. Here are the top comments. How are you going to continue to post when you're voting to ban the app? Is this posted on the TikTok you just signed to ban? You're not winning after the ban. Give up. Hey, hey, shut up, man. Hey, man, shut up. What do you get when you combine state-of-the-art robot technology and fire? Hey, you better not, man. Well, Jim, I'm so glad you asked. Obviously, it is the world's first... <laughs> well, Jim, I'm so glad to... Okay, whatever. Well, Jim, I'm so glad you asked. Obviously, it is Calm the world's down. first robot dog with an attached flamethrower. Oh! 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 That music just feels right, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Behold the Thurminator! Oh, this is the flamethrowing robot dog. Praise God. God bless you. You see one of these things, you go like this. <laughs> uh, by the way, whose yard is he doing that in? Hey, get that disgusting thing out of my yard. Okay, yeah, whatever. Been seeing a lot of videos about this flamethrowing robot, robot dog. You know, this thing's running around going. <laughs> and frankly, it's weird. But you know, there's been a bunch of stuff about this. People talking about this. Oh, they try to sell these things to the military. You know, it's a, it's obviously creepy, but there's something that people don't ever talk about with these robo uh, gun dogs, is how goddamn goofy, <laughs> how goddamn goofy these things look when they're walking around. Everybody thinks these are creepy killing machines, which they are, you know. But this is what I think when I see videos of these things. It do like this. Watch. Hey, 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 Okay, look at this. This is a military YouTube channel, and they're talking about a sniper dog. Watch this. This part's great. Watch this part. Similarities don't stop there. Either both can climb staircases, oh, amazing. navigate complicated terrain, Thank God. and right themselves if they fall over. <laughs> wait a second. Mission wait, 60 wait, wait. and Spot each have... What's that thing doing out in the ice? Look at this. Thing. No, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm lost. Hey, you kids aren't allowed to ice skate out here. Oh, no. I'm slipping around. Oh no, my little robot paws are slipping around. Your car could be spying on you. Better not and be. at least one automaker is sharing that information with insurance companies. I'm George Estevez, and for Justin Farmer. 
Where's Justin? Yeah, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, where the hell is Justin Farmer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I, you know, just don't shoot the guy. Weird. Onstar app, you know, you're thinking safety and if some, if it gets stolen, but certainly not spying on me and sending information to the insurance company. It's the exact same scenario described in this proposed class action lawsuit filed just one day after Clay received her LexisNexis report this month. Clay requested the report because her insurance had gone up 80%. And when she tried to shop around, Whoa. an insurance broker sent a denial letter and suggested she check her LexisNexis records to see why. Okay, great. This is something I've been hearing a lot of people talking about. You know, your car's spying on you, man. You know, look at your car over there. And I look at my car, I'm like, hey, don't look at me. You know, I say that to my car. Cars nowadays are computer cars. You know, as a Cybertruck owner myself, I know about computer cars, okay? I got that Cybertruck. The first thing I started doing is shooting at it. On. Okay, funny story. It turns out I did not own a Cybertruck. It's a 1999 RAV4, so that's broken now. Uh, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. People are always talking about, oh, the car's spying on you. The car's spying on your ass. The car... Got weapon. your ass! Woo! What's this comment here say? GM wasn't sharing their customers' data. GM was selling it, profiting from it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so people are pissed off about this because they're like... I don't remember consenting to this. The car is watching me do all this stuff. And then they send this data to like data brokers. Then they send that to the insurance company. <laughs> you know, basically your car is building a case against you all the time. Every time you drive to send to the insurance company. And look, they suck. They suck at driving. So do a little bit of this. People don't like that. So, you know, that's already a little, it's a little weird. But I wanted to know more about this. So I was looking around. And I found out that some people who do, like, research on privacy, they did a whole report about these cars. Like, our eyes were bugging out when we found how much data these car companies said in their privacy policies that they could collect on users. Okay. And so you ask, well, what are some of the things that really surprised us? And, okay. I mean, they're collecting information about... Um, they said they could collect information about your sex life, your sexual activity, your union membership, your genetic information, Whoa. your biometrics. Um, on top of all the car usage data, <laughs> uh, where you're driving, when you're driving, how fast you're driving, uh, how many people are in the car, what radio stations you're listening to, and on and on and on. It was it was huge. It was it was really frightening, actually. Oh boy. And this is kind of the tip of the iceberg. I just read oh, um, no. some information last week about a, a company that was developing technology to use the indoor in, in camera um in car cameras to study our emotions and moods. Angry. <laughs> to know what uh, we're feeling when we're in our car. And so that's really scary. Okay, what is this? This is from Mozilla. They do a thing called Privacy Not Included, where they do research on privacy stuff. And the reason they do this is because they're perverts who are always doing wrong. They're doing wrong stuff. And they don't want people to know, man. It's disgusting. And what, what does this report say? What the hell does it say? After researching cars and privacy, here's what keeps us up at night. Whoa. <laughs> WTF level data collection. Oh. GM's Cadillac, G, uh, GMC, Buick, and Chevrolet say in their California privacy statement that they can collect, among other uh, so, so many things, your genetic, physiological, behavioral, and biological characteristics. What? Kia and Nissan also say they can collect genetic information. We have every, qu we have every question about this, but mostly how. It gets worse. Nissan says they can collect information about your sexual activity. Life is long and weird. About your crystal flute activity. About your that is my own sperm <laughs> activity. Okay, what does this say? A new era of cybercrime. When car companies aren't busy sharing or selling your data, they're often not protecting it as well as they should. We couldn't confirm if any of the car brands we research meet our minimum security standards. That's really bad and not normal. What? Okay, what's this one say? There are so many ways for law enforcement to unlock the treasure trove of data that's collected by your car. In the United States, they can just ask for it without a warrant or hack into your car to get it. Oh, goddamn, you snitch son of a bitch car, you. At least 14, 56% of the car brands have privacy policies that say they can voluntarily share your personal data with law enforcement or the government in response to a request. Oh, goddamn it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it would be kind of okay if it was like you could opt into a thing in your car where it's like, hey, we're collect all, we'll collect all your crap. You know, we'll videotape your little ass in there, you know, and then we'll give you a little report. See if <laughs> we'll give you a little report. See if you're doing a good job. We'll see if you're doing a good little job in your car, you know. I guess that'll be okay, you know. And legally, we can't just give that to whoever we want, you know. That I guess that'll be okay. But this does just seem like, okay, we're always watching you in your car. We just give that to people. It does seem a little bit, a lot. Weird. I mean, so what can we do? I mean, so what can we do? Just normal, average morons. What can we do to fight this? Well, I thought of one way. And it's a very stupid way. Is he just kind of threaten the car? You know, like, hey, you want to wash? You know, cars love going through those wash, those car wash things. You know, so you just go, hey, stop looking at me. Or no wash. That's one idea right there that I just threw out. Is it kind of stupid? No one, know, no one knows yet. Who's to say? I, I, I read recently that, um, okay. according to a McKinsey report, the monetization of car data, that's what we're talking about here, is projected to be a huge industry, $750 billion. So we think that the amount of data that they collect um, to get you from point A to point B safely is way more than they need to. And we we found it very funny that, you know, the car companies would at the top of their privacy policy to say, we really care about your privacy and we've, we've created these privacy principles and we've signed on to them. Um, and then you go and read the privacy principles. It's, it's not things they're doing at all. They're not minimizing their data collection. They aren't being very transparent in everything they do. Well, there we go, guys. A beautiful look at the technology that makes us go like this. I mean, really, there's only one thing we could say about it, which is... It's weird. Technology. It's weird. <laughs> well, guys, it is Monday. That's not the best. But even though it's Monday, we're still out here being... Disgusting. And going like this. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm gonna just walk out here and I'm gonna take a week off. Guys! You're not getting the whole show, okay? Please, for Christ's sake, become a member on Patreon, okay? For as little as two bones. When you join on Patreon for as little as two stupid little bones, you get the Tuesday-Thursday shows every week, the comments program where you can ask questions or tell stories or do whatever and it, it's a whole show, behind-the-scenes crap, all for a two putrid little bones, that's it. Just click this link, here it is, right there, see it? Yep. Okay. Ah, I'm in hell. And if you really want to support the wretched show, people call it because they're satanic, they're sick, you could become a producer for only 25 bones. These beautiful people here are. They. God! God! Without those producers, it's over, man. It's, it's done. Do you think we can do the show without the producers? Okay, because if you do think that. <laughs> you got another thing coming, my man. You got a totally different thing coming. Without the producers, it is it is as good as over. Hello? Is anyone listening to me? Please answer. I'll wait. Please answer. Our hearts and our toilets are forever endowed unto the producers from which all light comes. Praise God. Praise God. It really is amazing to have such beautiful producers, and if you want to do it, oh my God. I, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know... I love the producer so much that I wrote a little song about him. Here we go. Hit it. With all the producers, we're going straight to hell. And we'll be there last night for all eternity. Yeah. And then we'll go down to the lower level of hell where you can't get out. Oh, yeah. Not even for good, good. Slash D. Go, go down there. D.